It is my privilege and my honor to begin 2009 by doing something that is very rare and even unique for a governor, appointing someone to the United States Senate. I've received an extraordinary amount of input these past few weeks. My staff and I have talked to hundreds of people, and I have carefully considered everyone's opinion. My overriding principle was who can best serve all of Colorado at this critical point in our history. Our challenges, our opportunities are so serious that they take a new generation of leadership and I believe a new way of thinking and a bold new approach to problem solving. It's no surprise that the eyes of the nation have been on the West this past year given the depth and the breadth of talented public servants which we have here. And given our common sense, our practical and optimistic approach to solving problems, even to solving big problems. That became even more evident to me throughout this process that I've just been through. Today, I'm proud to announce that I'm appointing one of Colorado's most competent and accomplished leaders to the United States Senate, Michael Bennett. Michael is exactly who we need representing Colorado, working along with our Senator-elect Mark Udall, with our Congressional delegation, and really importantly as well with the Barack Obama administration. Michael has this unique set of personal and professional experiences that make him the right choice for Colorado. His private sector and public sector accomplishments are truly impressive. Michael brings together people. He finds ways to find common ground. He looks for common sense solutions to very complex problems. He has this impressive record of restructuring companies, restructuring schools, erasing budget deficits, and making organizations stronger than how he found them. But what impresses me even more about Michael, his energy, his strength of character, his core values, and his steadfast temperament. He's always looking toward the future. He knows we cannot fix 21st century problems with 20th century solution, excuse me, 20th century solutions. He is one of the deepest and most innovative thinkers that I know. He's practical, he's pragmatic, he's not ideological, he's not dogmatic. He's got a fresh new generation approach to everything. Michael's the right choice for Colorado's kids, for Colorado's families, Colorado's economy, and Colorado's future. We will need all of his skills. President-elect Obama will need all of his skills. As we work through a financial crisis that is the worst that we've seen in over 30 years, and as we create a 21st century economy for Colorado, for America. I'm pleased that Michael will add to a talented team at every level that will be moving Colorado forward during a very difficult time. One of the most extraordinary members of that team is Senator Ken Salazar. He has given a lifetime of service to, to, to our state that we should all feel honored by and Michael should be inspired by. Senator Salazar, on behalf of the people of Colorado, I thank you, we thank you. You've been a great partner. I look forward to continuing that partnership as you take on your new role as the next Secretary of Interior, a man who will be in charge of an agency that will help us protect Colorado's land, its water, its people. If you remember Senator Salazar's first campaign as Attorney General, the slogan is Colorado's water, land, and people, and today we turn again to thank you for making a career move 
that will help you do something you've promised us all along to do, that you've been involved in doing, and we respect you with every fiber of our body for your great public service. Thank you. Now my pleasure to introduce any, uh, we we're going to say he's the next United States Senator, but actually Mark Udall is the next United States Senator, he'll be sworn in on Tuesday. So the next after the next United States Senator <laughs> from Colorado, Michael Bennett. Thank you, Governor Bill Ritter, and thank you to our outstanding Lieutenant Governor Barbara O'Brien, um, Senator and the next Secretary of the Interior, Ken Salazar, our soon-to-be senior Senator. Everybody thinks I'm lucky to get this job, but look at this, he's the senior Senator, Mark Udall, <laughs> Mayor John Hickenlooper, all of the fine members of Colorado's congressional delegation, former Mayor Wellington Webb, and his wife, Wilma, Senate President Peter Groff, P Speaker-elect Terrence Carroll, Senator Gary Hart, Teresa Pena, and the entire Denver Public School Board, the Denver Public School principals and other staff that I see out there today, my family, and Susan and the girls. Let me first say that I am humbled by the faith Governor Ritter has in me. And I've been honored to have been considered for this position alongside some of Colorado's most devoted and accomplished leaders and privileged to follow in the very large bootsteps of Senator Salazar. I stand ready to take on the serious challenges facing our country in Colorado. I've learned from Mayor Hickenlooper that there's no challenge that lacks a solution and no problem too tough to withstand innovative thinking. John is like a big brother to me, and I've learned so much from him. And I look forward to continuing to learn from Senator Salazar, the governor, and Senator-elect Mark Udall. Innovative thinking, pragmatic problem solving, and bringing people together have been the hallmarks of my career. As superintendent of the Denver Public Schools, through partnerships with principals, teachers, parents, and the community, we together have created a school system where our students are beginning to find hope an opportunity where once there was little. Achievement scores continue to climb, graduation rates are up, and enrollment in our schools is the highest it's been in 30 years. Like every <coughs> urban school district in the country, we still have a long way to go. But we balanced our budgets after years of cuts, increased the resources available to our schools and classrooms, expanded services to our youngest children, and created the most progressive pay system for teachers and principals in the country. In the Denver Public Schools, as with every urban or rural district, we've got a lot of hard work ahead of us, but we're ahead of the game. Hard work's always been at the center of the American dream, and it's one of the values that makes this country great. As Phil Anschutz will happily tell you, when I went to work for him in 1997, I didn't bring an intimate knowledge of financial workings. I couldn't even read a balance sheet at first. But instead, I found success through a daily commitment to innovation, perseverance, and hard work. As your next United States Senator, I will bring these same values of hard work and a very solid curiosity with me to Washington. In the Senate, Ken Salazar has blazed a new path of nonpartisan accomplishment, <coughs> bringing people together across the partisan divide to solve our very real problems. This is a path I intend to follow closely. The enormous challenges we face today are so serious, partisan differences must be abandoned to govern well. Believe me, after almost four years in this job,